Greetings, friends and colleagues of the Africa Baptist Theological Education Network. I want to formally welcome each of you to our third biennial continental meeting. Like 2020, this year of 2021 continues to bring challenges to all of us. COVID-19, travel restrictions, and other constraints have made it difficult to be in the business of theological education. Many of you have been working on a shoestring budget. You've faced closures of your institutions and, and dealt with various challenges and setbacks. At the same time, I've also noticed that many of our fraternity have been extremely resourceful and creative and the work continues to move forward. AB10 has not been exempt from these challenges. Government shutdowns have slowed down our registration process, and last year's travel restrictions forced us to have to cancel the regional meetings we were supposed to enjoy. Now this year in 2021, much to our disappointment and surprise, we're still unable to meet in a Continental Congress face-to-face, -face, and we're having to meet virtually. These two years have been rife with difficulties and setbacks, but They've also been full of opportunities and goals that have been met in spite of those challenges. Let me give you a few announcements that I hope will encourage you today. First of all, related to AB316 and the Abandoned Gospel Project, uh, one of the most significant accomplishments of this year has been the progress and work of our content creation arm called Africa Baptist 316 or AB316. They have completed the statement of faith that we will all be voting on later today, and they've also finished our first Abtin book called The Abandoned Gospel, Confronting Neo-Pentecostalism and the Prosperity Gospel in Sub-Saharan Africa. This book is now available on Amazon for Kindle and even in print, and it has been printed here in Nairobi and is being shipped all across the continent as we speak. We are in negotiations to do further print runs in West Africa through Elioff and in South Africa. We're even working now on a French version. We also currently have many of our members who are writing in a new series called the Africa Theology Series. Another exciting development is that a major publishing uh, promoter, publisher and promoter here in Africa is considering entering into a partnership with AB10 where we will be content creators and they will handle the publishing, the printing, and the distribution side of things. Any royalties that would come will go right back into AB316 to create further resources. This year has also brought some significant changes to our website. If you will notice and look at www.abten.org and www.ab316.org, you'll see that there have been updates. Well, there are plans to revamp those sites in order to make them more organizationally connected. The AB10 site started out more as a, as a meeting website, but as we grow to become an organization, we'll be changing those sites to reflect that. It will have everything that it has now as far as resources, but it will also include our statement of faith, it will include our organizational structure and other pages for different groups of people in our organization, like resources for writers, for instance, resources for librarians, discussion boards, and things like that. Be praying for us as we work on this to make it better and better. Also, this meeting that we're in today is a significant positive step forward for us as an organization. It's a bright spot in our organization because what we've done is we've come together and pulled things together in a way that we've never done before. As I said in my welcome introduction, this has been a difficult two years, but as the old saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. Africans are so creative and so resourceful. As the challenges to theological education have grown, the innovation employed by our organization's memberships has also grown. This meeting is designed to celebrate that innovation and to be a place to help our constituency collaborate with each other and see how they can be more innovative in all that they do. Brothers and sisters, it is a privilege and a pleasure to serve you, and we want to officially welcome each of you to this special meeting. Pray with us that this meeting will be successful, and, and pray especially for all of the technical and IT aspects of this meeting that we will be able to make everything work well in what is honestly our first try at a meeting of this magnitude. May God bless all of you as we endeavor to have this meeting together. 
Now, as we begin today, let me highlight a few of the points that you're going to need to know. First of all, only those who have registered have been sent the Zoom link for this meeting. If there are those who need access to the meeting and can't get in, what we need for them to register, and if not, they can quickly send us a message through the WhatsApp channel and we'll be sure that they're sent the link for the meeting. The WhatsApp channel is going to be our communication forum as we will keep the chat closed during the Zoom calls. This will keep people from being distracted by unnecessary chatter during the live program. Our IT people will monitor the WhatsApp chat and this will be the place where all collaboration and discussion will take place. Also, during the plenary sessions, we will allow you to have video on, but we will be keeping everyone's microphone muted except for those who are speaking or conducting interviews. There will be breakout groups at the end of each session that will allow you to discuss and communicate in the breakout rooms. You will have access to chat and mic functions in the breakout rooms. We'll also have polls and allow you to use emojis in the plenary sessions in order to vote when necessary. We are offering translation services in French and Portuguese, and you can access these by choosing the appropriate language at the bottom of the screen. Please help us by being on time and by chatting privately through WhatsApp, if necessary, and keeping the AB10 WhatsApp chat open so that we can use things directly related to the program in that chat channel. Thank you for being on and for being a part of this meeting. May God bless you and may God bless the work of theological education through Baptists in Sub-Saharan Africa.